Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the raise function for checking custom errors. We're expanding on our previous tutorial. If you want to test your program for specific errors, you can use the raise method. So let's type the function err period raise r a i s e. Let's use, let's say, error 61. And we'll modify our message. ERR period description. Let's run the program. Click OK. And here is our error 61. Disk full. Click OK. Double click to get back to the code. Let's check error 55. Click OK. Here's another error. File already open. For more information on specific error numbers and their messages, you can check out the Visual Basic help files or you can also Google them these days. This concludes our tutorial about using the raise function to identify custom errors.